Lesson 9.5, Factoring Simple Trinomials. So we start factoring today, but to help you understand what factoring is, you have to understand what's the opposite of factoring. The opposite of factoring would be distributing, or what a lot of people call foiling. So you would have x plus 2 times x plus 5, and we do the first. Outside, inside, last, all that, we get some answer. So, I'll break this down into rules. A lot of people find this very, very confusing. Just follow the rules. So here we go. I want to do x squared plus 7x plus 10. And I'll write it up here. First rule, write down your parentheses. Because we're going to break it into two things. It's a trinomial. It's going to break into that every time. Then your variables. Usually x's. Put them in. Then your signs. These are your signs over here. The plus plus stands for what you have in the original problem. If you have plus plus, you're going to get plus plus. So up here we're going to get plus plus. If you had plus negative, you also get plus negative. Now that assumes you follow a certain pattern, which you will. If you have negative plus, you get negative negative. And if you have negative negative, you get negative plus. As you factor more and more, you no longer need these. Most people use them for a little while, even have this sheet of paper sitting off to the side, and then they get good at it and they just start ignoring it. So we put in plus plus. Now we factor the third term. And we always write the bigger number first. So this would be 10 times 1 or 5 times 2. That's it. And then we check which numbers multiply. To 10 and add to 7. In this case, it is adding, it's plus plus, so just add them up. That would be 5 and 10, 2, so we write them in 5 and 2. That's it, we're done. We factored it. It's a little tricky, but practice makes perfect. So, another one parentheses, variables. Plus minus, 36 is 36 times 1, 18 times 2, 9 times 4, I forgot 12 times 3, and that's it. Now 1's plus, 1's minus, so they're no longer to add up, they're going to subtract. So which one of these subtract to 9? 12 and 3. And something I forgot to do previously is we check it. Go back and foil it. Well, we don't have to foil it out. 12 times negative 3 is negative 36. And 12 minus 3 is positive 9. So it looks like it works. I'll do the first one, and then you should practice the rest yourself. I'll do them very quickly, just putting the answers up. Minus minus means they will combine negative 6 plus negative 2 equals negative 8. Checked. Negative 6 times negative 12 equals 12. You might want to pause the video and try the rest yourself. No, I don't have an answer key sitting next to me. Practice makes perfect. Then you just look. 10 minus 7 is positive 3. 10 times negative 7 is negative 70. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. Negative 7 plus negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49.
So, this lesson goes with the previous lesson using the zero product property. Solve this. Well, first, get it equal to zero. Then factor x, x plus minus, looks like 9 and 2, nope, 6 and 3, yep, plus 6 minus 3, positive 3, 6 times negative 3, negative 18. And now we've seen this problem before, x equals negative 6, or x equals 3. That is a lot. We're factoring, we're using zero product property, we're tying it all together. Again, practice makes perfect. And that was the zero property product property. Meaning if I have two things multiplying to zero, either one of them can be zero. So try these on your own. Factor, there's no equal zero out here. So you just have to Break it down into its components. Solve. Well, now set it equal to zero. Done. Now, hate doing this, throwing on a little extra thing just to mess with you. But be aware, they'll say find the zeros of the function. Remember, this is what we call function notation. Instead of putting a y, we put f of x, and we're just saying that y is a function of x. Whatever I put in for x, some y pops out. So we'll say find the zero of the function. You're just factoring. Just rewrite it immediately like that. So have it like you've been doing. Eight and three should work. Negative eight plus three, negative eight times three, good. Done. Factoring, one of the most useful things in algebra, pops up in geometry, in algebra two, in pre-calculus, and heavily in calculus, particularly early on when you're learning the derivative. Get good at it. Don't say, ah, close enough. Get really good at it. It'll make a big difference going forward. Good luck.